Well, for states pausing their use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it's a pretty badly timed delay with COVID variants continuing to spread. But there is a path out of this. Very unusual. Uh, to my knowledge, has not been seen with any other vaccine. Dr. Larry Corey with Fred Hutch says the very rare but potentially dangerous blood clots six women experienced with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine were so unique they only showed up after millions of doses were administered. We didn't see any of this in the clinical trial, okay? So, and it makes sense, okay? It's one in a million. Washington will stop using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine while the federal government investigates. How long do you think this pause could last and how, how does this investigation proceed now? I truly expect this will be a couple weeks. I think we need to sort it out and see just what the frequency really is. Dr. Corey says it's possible doctors won't know specifically why the blood clots occur, just that they show up in women of a certain age. So it's possible after some investigation and more clarity, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be good for certain people and we decide it's not safe for others. Right. I, I suspect that that's what's going to happen. The U.S. has enough of the two-dose vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, to cover all Americans. But many states were counting on the single-dose Johnson & Johnson shot to beat back COVID. There's no question if we totally take it out of the picture, it will make it harder. Dr. Corey says the U.S. is in an enviable position because it has these two other safe and effective vaccines. For other countries that are counting on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, this is a much bigger setback. Joyce. So what about the safety of the other vaccines being used in the United States? Are there any concerns about that? No, none so far. Dr. Corey says the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have not been shown to have this blood clotting issue and no other serious side effects, even after millions of doses and several months of use. He says what's happening with Johnson & Johnson should not deter people from getting one of the other vaccines, which are totally safe and effective. All right, Ted, thank you. As I was looking for the single dose just because it works with work. I took a half day off today. Vaccine appointments at the Angel of the Winds Arena in Everett were canceled today following the decision on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. People who had appointments got an email to reschedule. Snohomish County's Health Department says about 24,000 J&J doses have been administered to date. 2,400 more were expected this week. In Seattle, Mayor Jenny Durkin said if you had a Johnson & Johnson vaccine appointment, you will get a Pfizer vaccine instead.